welcome back to First Impressions Tuesdays. So it's been a while since I made one of these videos, but I recently got an email from someone named Jonathan over at Tempo to try their minimalist email app. Now this video is not sponsored, but his email got me thinking about how much I hate email. <laughs> For me, I think it's a combination of all of the junk mail that I get and all of the multiple different email accounts that I have to maintain and the pressure of addressing really important emails for both my consulting business and YouTube that just makes my daily email routine incredibly annoying and stressful. But this got me thinking, if there were to be a perfect email app, what would I want to see in it? And will Tempo check all of those boxes? So in today's video, I want to first go over that wish list with you guys and also take you along as I try out Tempo to see if it really can be my perfect email app. Now, I have between three and five main email accounts for personal, consulting, YouTube, college, and spam and yes that is a lot and we should probably address that issue in the future but for now i just need something that allows me to very easily navigate between all of these accounts and see them at a glance without breaking my head <laughs> And aesthetics aside, the reason why this is important is because, as I mentioned, I hate email. So if I have to use an app that's either ugly or clunky or visually overwhelming, I'm going to be a lot less likely to actually check my email and address it in a timely manner. Because I do work for myself, even if I'm not sitting at my desk, my mind is always in work mode, so I always need my email accessible to me. So ideally, an email app should have a really solid Mac desktop app, but should also have a really good complimentary iPhone and iPad app. Because I do get a lot of junk and promotional emails, sometimes really important conversations can get lost in the mix. I've seen some apps try to fix this by automating a lot of the cleanup of your inbox so you see only what is the most important. And that's a bit too extreme for me, so I just want something in the middle where I either have more tools at my disposal to clean up my inbox manually or a bit more separation of the types of emails that I'm receiving. Now, there are a lot of good email apps out there, specifically Superhuman comes to mind, that check a lot of these boxes. But the problem is they're pretty expensive. And I do know there is a trade-off between free and paid apps when it comes to your data privacy. But even if I am going to pay for an email app, I don't want it to be too expensive, but still get the job done. So that is the wish list. but now let's check out Tempo and see how it compares. Now, if we scroll down, this window looks like how the Compose page looks when you're writing an email, and it looks incredibly stripped down and minimal. Almost too much, but we'll see. So one big drawback I see right away is the fact that right now this is only available on Mac, and it is coming to iOS, I believe, early next year and Android afterwards. So it is promising, but as of now, it does lack that cross-device support. Unsubscribe to newsletters with one click. Yes. Pause the noise and savor communicating your thoughts. Sometimes it's more than just an email. 100% love, 0% <laughs> addiction. Markdown, that's actually something I didn't even consider, um, but I probably should add to my list. Privacy first, also important. Pretty good. Oh. Oh, so this is good. So right now it is free because this app is still in beta, but once it is released, it will be 99 euros per year. Um, so that is pretty good. My idea would be like a one-time payment of say a hundred or more for a lifetime of use, but of course that is not the most profitable model. Welcome to your home in Tempo. Batches accumulate all the new mail you receive. Okay, so basically batching just means you don't get notifications all the time. Why? Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so so far I just set up my personal email and what I like first is that a lot of these pages like the to-do or the reminders are actually blank which gives me a little bit of peace of mind. I also really liked the how-to guide that they had walking you through all of the different features. Because this app is so minimalist, I think if I didn't have that I would have been quite stuck. Right off the bat, one thing that I like is I can easily toggle on and off the different accounts to the ones that I want to see at a time. So that is nice, but one thing I wish was there is in the inbox, I wish I could see for each email what account that email was sent to. So here I have a mix of personal emails, YouTube ones, things from college, and stuff like that, and they're all kind of jumbled in the same section. Oh, something else is that there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts. If you are a Vim user, you would probably appreciate this because you can do everything from searching to toggling focus mode to navigating between all of your emails just with your keyboard. So if you use VS Code, I think they have something like this for programming, but basically focus mode blurs out all of the other distracting elements and just shows you each message at a time. So this is really nice because you can individually and quickly sort through all of your emails. So for example, here is a potential sponsor email. What I would probably do is... I think the intention of this app is to keep your inbox as empty as possible and have all of your important messages either tucked away or stored as a reminder to do later. What I would actually love to see is for the reminders to integrate with either a calendar app or something like a to-do app. Something so that even if I'm not having the app open right now, I know what tasks I probably should get to with my emails. Actually, something else I wish there was in terms of the sorting is the ability to move emails between the priority and other inbox. Right now, I think it's kind of automatically determined, but there are a lot of emails I'm getting here that are kind of spammy or promotional that should be in the other, but I don't think I can move it. So far, I'm really liking this a lot more than my current workflow with Gmail. With Gmail, usually what I would do is have multiple Chrome tabs or windows open with each of my accounts. And so it's basically up to me to first check all of those accounts periodically, but also to remember to get back to those emails either in the evening or the next day. Here, what my hope is, is that I'll keep my inbox as clear as possible. And in doing so, I'll properly allocate my mail into the to-do or reminders category. So that is the goal. What I'm thinking of doing now is testing this out for either 24 hours or maybe longer. Yeah, so that's the plan. Anyways, I'll check back with you later. All right, so it is the next day and I am gonna keep testing out tempo for a little bit longer, but TBH, I'm just really excited about Thanksgiving. So I wanna get this filmed earlier, but if I have any additional notes, I'll add them throughout the video. And there are a lot of things I like about this app that make it pretty close to being my ideal email app. And a lot of that does boil down to its UI. Now, when I was initially making that wish list and I was talking about having a clean and minimal UI, this is basically what I was talking about. I love how when I open this app, there are no annoying red notification bubbles or anything that deters me from actually checking my email. Instead, this app is actually quite calming to use and when I get into it, I actually want to keep going through my emails, which is a first for sure. I also love the philosophy of Tempo of wanting to improve your focus and reduce email anxiety. I didn't even know that was a term, but that pretty much encapsulates why I hate email so much. And one of my main concerns, at least for the time being, is the lack of the cross-device support. And of course, this is going to change in the very near future, but at least at the moment, the reason why this is important is because it really hinders my ability to use Tempo to its fullest. What I mean by that is a lot of tempo is built around that batching feature and actually clearing the clutter of your email. So the ideal is that you only get your email alerts at periodic points throughout the day. 
but because I have a different email app on my phone, I still get those notifications throughout the day with all of my emails that I want to either read or address immediately. But actually for that batching feature, I'm not sure if it would be a pro or a con because I do like the idea of having set times in the day when you check your email. But what if there's a really important conversation or something that's time sensitive that you can't get to immediately because it's stuck in one of those batches? Maybe that's just that email anxiety that they're talking about, but I feel like maybe a good in-between would be... Oh, maybe for like contacts that you set as a VIP or conversations that you star, those ones can come in as push notifications immediately. That way I can still benefit from the batching feature, but I'll have a little bit more peace of mind than not missing something really important. So yeah, I think if I were to rate Tempo, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. And it's really neat because Tempo is built by a small team, I think based out of Berlin, so it's really impressive that they were able to build something so powerful as such a small team. Now, one observation I've made is that actually within the weeks and months that follow of releasing a first impression video, there are so many new changes and features that roll out that actually address a lot of the concerns that I talk about in my video. And that's probably going to be the case with Tempo as well. So I'm pretty hopeful that within the next couple of months, this can definitely become my daily driver for both my MacBook, but also also on my phone. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Now, if there are any other email apps that you want me to try, please let me know in the comments down below. And otherwise, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big like and subscribe. Follow me on social media if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh no, silence that. Oh shoot, this is actually important. Can you do that? Huh?